Good morning, guys. Today's read aloud is called What Matters, and it's written by Allison Hughes and illustrated by Holly Hatton. And in this book, one child is going to do one little thing, pick up a little piece of trash, and we're going to see how that really matters and how that makes a big difference. A crumpled soda can lay in the grass, glinting in the sunshine. You see it here? A boy ran down the path. He saw the can, picked it up, and tossed it into a nearby recycling bin. It was only a little thing. A small, small thing the boy didn't know it mattered at all. But it did. It mattered to an ant carrying breakfast to his family and to a snail spared a long, tiring detail detour. That soda can seems like a small thing to us, but to a teeny tiny little ant or a teeny little snail, that crumpled soda can laying in the grass is actually really big and in their way. It mattered to a spider who had worked all morning spinning an intricate web. Look at that beautiful spider web. And to a worm whose wormhole might have been plugged. And to a curious dog with a very delicate sniffer. So it mattered to the worm because if that, pla if that soda can had been laying on that worm's hole, it wouldn't have been able to get out of its hole. Or to the dog who might have accidentally injured himself on the can or tried to taste it. It mattered to a hungry, nibbly mouse who might have gotten sick, and to two baby birds with sensitive new eyes. You see the baby, the little mouse down there, and the baby birds? It mattered to 73 blades of grass and to a dandelion that would have been wilted. So that can laying in the grass, it was crushing the grass and the flowers that might have grown there. Those grass and those blades of grass and that dandelion flower wouldn't have been able to grow tall with a can squished on top of it. It kept a drain from clogging, which stopped a garden from flooding, which saved the flowers that danced in the breeze. Boy didn't know it, but he helped. He helped a tiny stream flow more freely to a river and the river flow more smoothly to the ocean. He helped a tiny crab to scuttle in a clear tide pool and a big ocean fish to swim in cleaner water. So because he picked up that trash, that trash didn't get swept away into the ocean. So now the fish's ocean is cleaner and the crab's tide pool is, tide pool is cleaner. He helped the vast ocean throw one last piece of garbage onto the beach. We saw some pictures of all the garbage that can get washed up on the beach. Because that boy made sure that the can got in the recycling bin, that's one last piece of trash that's going to get on the beach to have to be picked up. He made the earth just a little more blue, a smidgen more green. Picking up that crumpled can was only a little thing, a small, small thing, but it mattered. More than the boy ever knew. The end. So you can see how he just did something small. He didn't even think about it. He picked up a small little can, but because he did that, grass was able to grow there, and dandelions, a worm wasn't stuck in his home, and that piece of trash didn't get washed by the rain into a drain and clogging it, or into a stream and out to the ocean where it would have could have hurt a fish or a crab. Because he took the time to pick up just one or two pieces of trash that he saw on the ground outside, the world is a cleaner place and that matters, even though it seems like such a small thing. If everyone does a little bit, does everyone does a little small thing every day, it turns into a big thing and it really does matter.